So I'm working on a interesting run uh, for today, based on a suggestion from Bob Kurt in the uh, Discord. If, by the way, if you're interested, link in the description. And the main premise of this run is going to be that everything I do is dealing damage to myself. So Wand of Skultimate Power, 2 damage every 15 pegs for 2 times damage. I'm taking... I, I gave myself 2 Inferno Orbs and 2 Nosferbatus, because I figured, well, if I'm going with some form of damage, might as well go with them all, right? So now I... <laughs> So it's basically a race of, am, am I going to be able to kill everything before they kill me? And I think it, I think it's going to be a really fun run, really interesting one for sure. Just trying to be able to really get, uh, get enough to be able to survive. I kind of toyed with not having, with only having one of each to start with, and I'd have to find them. But I figured, well. I'm hard, I, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it, just because it, it's quite a lot of passive damage overall. And every Nosferbatu shot, it, it only stacks against itself, which is pretty nice for me. Um, but <laughs> it, it's certainly not great. I'd love to find a Ring of Indignation from uh, this run, but not sure how likely it is. I also need to, like actually be cautious here hopefully this heals pretty good i i'm i'm always just so worried like i i feel like i'm going to end up killing myself at some point just because i'm not able to kill it in time but who knows i uh it's i think this will be a really fun run i'm also limiting myself so that i'm not able to pick up any any specific um a any orb that doesn't do damage to myself if i find another in for, for an orb somewhere along the line sure i'll take it but yeah i'm also just i i'm gonna take the egg and i'm going to i i'm doing something horrible i'm sorry guys i have to do this i have to keep the integrity of the run i have to uh, also, where am I going? All right, so I'm going just all the way this way. I have to throw the egg. I have to throw it away. I'm sorry, egg. Oh, I feel so bad. How could I do this? I'm sorry. <laughs> and if you have any other suggestions that could be uh, kind of cool like this one, I'd love to hear them down in the comments. All right, let's see. None of this, I guess I'll just heal. I feel like I'm gonna be doing a lot of healing and I feel like it's also gonna be a pretty necessary thing. Although the in the base damage on these orbs seem to be pretty good. That might also just be because it's doing double damage with the Wand of Skultimate Power. And it's probably the case. That's really good damage though, I will say that. Please hit the refresh. Woo! There we go. I hope you guys are having a great day so far too, because I'm I'm having one. I I've been having a great week, honestly, and I hope you guys are too. It's it's um generally just been cool. Cool to see all the new all the new people around and. Uh, Definitely want to keep uh, keep hanging out with you guys. And if one game that uh, I recently tried and I recently posted on my channel uh, was 20 Minutes Till Dawn. And if you're interested at all in the Vampire Survivors or any of those kind of like reverse bullet hell roguelikes, I, I'd suggest checking that one out because honestly, the... <laughs> It's incredibly fun. I'm pretty bad at it, and I'm probably going to be posting a pretty decent amount more of it on the channel. And it's really quite, uh, it, it's quite a good time. I will say it's not easy, though. Uh, and it's kind of cool. So if you're interested in any of that, I'd 
highly, again, highly suggest checking that out. Might, I'm also going to be doing some, probably tomorrow, I'm thinking, I'm going to be posting a circadian dice. It's a kind of dice building roguelike, so you should, uh, if, if you're interested, check that one out too tomorrow. Okay, here we go. This elite fight, this is going better than I expected, but I'm also expecting it to go very poorly very fast. Ooh. Wow, this is really good. That, I think that's an amazing relic for this. Couldn't have gotten a better one. I didn't even think... I. Bob Quirt also mentioned it in his original thing that I should go for this. Uh, but when I was adding stuff at the start, I, f I figured to myself, like, yeah, I... I mean, it, it would be a really helpful tool, but I also didn't want to go with it just immediately because to me it felt like it would have been just like a bit too much because I'm already getting double damage and it's incredibly strong. One thing I also considered and <laughs> uh, was because personally, my, my feelings about the Sapper Sack are it's way too strong. That's my, that's my personal opinion on it. And uh, so I was originally going to add that as just kind of like originally. Just like, oh, that would be cool. It, it adds self-damage because all the bombs are self-damage. But I think if I was going to do that, I would also have to remove like... I'd have to remove it to, like, half damage or something along those lines, because I personally think the relic's just way too strong. But that's just me. Because, to me, doing 300 damage on a bomb that are everywhere, that's enough to kill a lot. So, I, I don't know. That just feels like it's just too much for me to do. Maybe I should have just gone with one of one of each of these two. I I kind of ex I might eat these words. In fact, I'm probably am going to be eating these words later on. But I really did expect this to be a much more health challenge than it actually is so far. But I'm probably gonna regret those words. Let's see if I can't sneak in down this uh, this side over here. I can. Ooh, there is a Nosforbatu. I could get another one of them. Doesn't look like I will. I did! Okay. I will add it, sure. Why not? Oh, it's so nice not having to wait 10 years on uh, on the relics to, or on the orbs to fly down through. I'm just after doing the low grav run i was like this is nice just being able to just shoot my relics and be happy shoot my orbs and have them be happy and go down into the pits like they're supposed to is really nice these inferno orbs are kind of they do have a lot of stats to because I, I suppose that's probably because they do damage to yourself but man I'm happy I have Nosorbatus. I will say that. Healing is insane. And doing double damage is also pretty nice. I'm kind of curious, if I were to get monster training, would it be like four times damage or only two? I'm gonna heal and then I'll head to the elite fight. <laughs> Might as well. Hopefully get another relic along the way. There we go. I am going to use this just because I think it's probably going to do more as a level 2. Guaranteed crit. That's a great shot there. And I will hopefully hit this refresh. I think it, I, I hope this hits like a ton of pegs here so I just lose a ton of health. But it does not look like it will. Meaning I do have to do this. Yikes. I need to do... Oh, no. Oh, no. 
Okay, it did kill. It did kill. I was- I missed my shot completely somehow. Not sure how I did that. I will go with the activating crits refreshing the board. I think that's pretty- I think- I think that's pretty good for just general making sure I have stuff to hit all the time. Because they move, the refreshes don't. I'm not too worried about this. I think between everything I'll have enough damage to deal with it. And then this this is kind of more of a chip boss anyway. So definitely just being able to chip. Chip away is nice. I kind of hope I get the the one encounter. I always don't accept it, but in this run I definitely will. The uh the one where it's like there's two fireballs in a jar and you just have to grab the fireballs. I'd like to get that one this run, for, I think, obvious reasons. Now, if I'm offered Sappersack, will I take it? I still don't think I will. I think it's too strong, and I think it might make this... It might be interesting, but I also think, generally, it's going to be... Hey, okay, so this is kind of tough now. I think I'll go with the gift that... Mm, I'll go with Glorious Suffering. I don't go Glorious Suffering enough, and I think with double damage... Hopefully it doesn't screw me over on the Nosferbatus. Eh, it might. Let's see. Yeah, it screws me over on the Nosferbatu. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm kind of curious how it works. This might this might be a little bit more challenging now. But I think it might be more interesting. So okay, so it does it does actually let me heal on the specific case that there are numbers on it. So I need to be careful with that. I think it also Having minus two, minus three, it's pretty bad, but here's the thing. I think it adds like a condition to my healing, which is, which might make this more interesting. Conditional healing. I can't, I'm not even guaranteed healing on my anti, on my just death build. Let's shoot. Ooh. Full heal though. Full heal here, and it should do almost nearly a full kill. I am glad I got this intent intentional oboe though, because without it, I'm not sure this could be possible. I will get another Nosferatu to level 3 for the sole reason of... I think it's good to have additional healing. I don't think this is gonna work, yeah. I didn't think I would make it over to the other side. I was hoping I would, but maybe if I did some weird bouncing stuff. I will take an upgrade. Spread the love on my Inferno Orbs. Because they're pretty bad to start out now. I'll duplicate an Inferno Orb. That way I have three and three. Nice. Going over to the Relic. What am I going to get? What am I going to get? Attack steal. Oh boy! Woohoo! The best relic in the game! I'm pretty sure I will remove just my level 1 Nostrobatu. I think three, two level 3s are probably enough. And I don't really want to remove too many. Let's see. So I am just going to go for as many upgraded pegs as I can. Not quite able to kill. Hopefully I can hit a few upgraded pegs here. Maybe a crit. 22 isn't quite a heal, full heal, but it's close enough. Maybe if it's a bomb. I do have the stronger bombs now, or refreshable bombs. So that's kind of cool. I hope I get the one relic that is, uh, what, what's it called? Um, dang, I forget it already. 
The, it's my favorite relic in the game, too. It's the enhanced gunpowder. That's the one I'm thinking of. I think the enhanced gunpowder is probably my favorite. Just because it, especially in conjunction with the Alchemist cookbooks, it just clears so much of the arena all at once and is awesome. Hmm. Maybe I should have gone with the just a really heavily nerfed Sapper Sack. I think that probably would have been actually a more fun idea. Fresh bandana containing an extra refresh. Yeah, I'll take that. Popping corn. I think that almost I think that fully negates my glorious suck or my wand of skeletal power anyway. Hmm. This is way stronger than I was expecting it to be. Who would have expected suffering the entire way through is going to be so good? I was expecting to get maybe like... Because I barely ever see the oboe. I see the popping corn pretty often. I think it's a common relic, but the intentional oboe reducing health by loss by one... That's crazy that I've managed to find it. It seems pretty rare to me. But I'm happy nonetheless that I got it. Let's just shoot this over here. Oh man. I'm good. I did four damage. Woohoo! I missed all of the things on the inside. I don't know how I meant to do that, but I did. I think this kills the front one. I still take damage from the back one, but that's okay. Not too worried about a bit of damage here and there. Although this, not... You know, <laughs> adding the Glorious Suffering to, to make it conditional healing definitely made this a lot harder than if I didn't have it. Because I'm con consistently just getting, like, no health back on my Nosferbatu. You have my first level 3 Infern Orb now, though, so that's pretty awesome. I think, I think I'll have enough damage to pretty easily deal with the wall here. I'm not too worried about it. I might regret saying that, but... Especially because I had to use a Nosferbatu early on, which isn't good. This is going to be a zero damage shot, aside from the bombs. I guess it did add two to everything on this side, but even then, that's... I don't think that's worth it. Hopefully this gets down to some more refreshes. Ooh, that's making that entire inside over there really good. I'm luckily not taking too much damage, which is good. <laughs> oh no, all that damage all just went to waste. But it looks like the it's now it's now able to just stack tons of damage over here. And if I need any healing, I'll just send it over to the left here. There's some 12s, some 10s over there. I will take that any day. Let's... And now I, I guess the right side I can also add. I do want to try and stick to the middle now, though. Hopefully this hits a crit. Oh, it did. Nice. Big damage on this. I... Do I want to heal yet? I don't think so. I'm not taking very much damage here. There's no consistent damage. I think the other... If I got the other elite fight and not the demon wall generally i think it's easier than the demon wall but in this specific case i'd be willing to bet that it would be much harder i don't want to heal just yet either i do need to hit a refresh so but all the refreshes are in such bad spots did manage to hit a crit which is essentially the same thing there's a 16 peg over that way that's that's crazy strong I will just skip here, and I will go for another Inferno Orb. Everything... Everything hurts! 
No. Please hit the crit. If it hits the crit, it might do like 2k, but not quite. I'm gonna shoot it over this way for the crit, hopefully, for the refresh. The entire board is just so strong right now. I will say, for long fights, the Glorious Suffering is definitely really good. But generally, I don't think that's going to happen all that often, aside from, like, maybe on the bosses. So it's very conditional, probably. I could do a Swolthorb run. That would be kind of neat. Nice, and I finished it off with a heal. I'll heal it to death. Uh, this would negate some of it. It wouldn't be the best. I mean, this would negate a bunch of it, so I will go with Consuming Chalice. Consuming Chalice seems fun. It, it should add... It should make my no Nosferbatu able to heal again, which is good. Let's see, yeah, it does, it does heal on crits. So maybe I shouldn't have taken it. Maybe I should have added... Maybe I should have kept the uh, added difficulty of not being able to heal unless I had already gotten some damage on the board. I don't know. Questionable. It does remove a refresh. And it doesn't look like I'm hitting any crits anyway, so it's not mattering too much. I did get super lucky with the relics on this one, though. Getting the popping corn and the oboe. This is just a great run. For th This was the perfect run to get those, I should say. And... Well, this is gonna... This is probably just gonna one-shot. It's... Just don't do too much damage to me. Doesn't look like it will. I definitely should have brought a nerfed Sapper Sack. I think that was a mistake on my part. Definitely should have. I, I expected, honestly, the reason why I didn't was I was expecting this to already be way too much damage. But I guess, I guess it wasn't enough. And I, I keep saying that, but I know I'm going to run into that one, like, exploding peglin run uh map and it's just going to screw me over because i'm i'm talking smack about how it's, oh this isn't this isn't hard enough and then i'm just gonna get smacked by <laughs> a way too hard level and the final boss could be kind of difficult still because it does a lot of chip damage and it can get pretty strong if i don't kill it too quick enough Able to kill everything. Oh, sadly, I, I guess because I have the Recombombulator, or Alchemist Cookbook, the one that refreshes pegs, it does make it take less damage. So these normal, like, exploding peglins do not die from two, two of the red bombs. Probably still an overall damage increase, but still kind of sucks. Nice. Hit enough bombs, able to just wipe it out. Just heal there. I guess it doesn't really matter, so I'm just gonna go the easy way. Let's see. Hit the red bombs. Yeah, this is the one I was talking about that might screw me over. Because I am taking... I guess I only take three damage from these now. But still, 3 damage does add up. Uh, probably, do I want to just try and heal? I think so. I'll heal these guys to death. <laughs> that way you can just get rid of both the front two all at once. Makes it a lot easier. Okay. Uh, 20 damage self should be enough 
that uh maybe not oh it was oh i thought it was enough i didn't mm. Mm. i'll do it again i'll do it again just watch now this one is kind of tough it might blow up on me it looks like it will dang how much is this gonna do oh it was reloading i uh perfectly planned yep yep i i planned it to reload when it went to go explode Oh, uh, I <laughs> I was so expecting to take Hey, this is the one I was talking about. I'll take two extra fireballs. Ah, oh, dang. I wanted to go to the question mark. Unfortunate. What level are those fireballs? Just level 1? Ah, that's fine. Add some more damage to me. I don't think I'll heal yet. I'm probably going to take a decent amount of damage from these guys, but... Hopefully it's not too bad. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have uh, thrown that. Mm. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have thrown that one there. And in it goes. Still not able to kill, wow. This one finally is. So finally the first one dies, which is pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Let's see. Oh, two more bombs I would have killed. I will, you know what, I think there's high enough numbers on the board and I'm going to take enough that I think this is worth throwing. I might be mistaken on that. I do heal fall. It does do 92 to everything, so it is still pretty good. Able to kill with this one. And then I'll probably do this a... At most it's doing, what, like 50? I don't think that's worth it. I, I can probably kill. Probably kill with this. Ah, uh, dang. A few more bombs would have been fine. Was this enough? No, not quite. This one will be. And there we go. Upgrade my Inferno Orbs. For sure. I'll take the extra question mark. Will I? Yes, I will. I thought I was going down the side. And I will upgrade my... I'll upgrade this one to two. It doubles damage on non-crits. I didn't even look where I was going. I shouldn't have done that. It does look like I have an elite fight over here. And I will take the elite fight. I didn't look where I was going again. But for all I know, there's three elite fights down the other path. Oh, it's this one. Dang. I really hate this one. I think this one's actually going to be a big challenge for me. This might be where... This might be where the health loss will be felt. I need to be very cautious about what my health is at all the time. It is nice having these, though. These, um... Ooh, ten each? Wow! Hopefully this hits the crit. Uh, good heal. That was a pretty good heal. It is nice having the Inferno Orbs because they are able to, because they're lighter, they're able to actually make it all the way up to the top. Nice! It missed, and then it blocked. RNG is on my side today. That was a pretty good shot. Do I want to throw this? I don't think so. I think I'd rather hit a crit here if I can. I'm not able to. Now I'm definitely able to. Just needed to refresh the board. It's getting kind of dicey now. I definitely want to heal right now. I just hope I... Um... Do I want to heal? I do want to heal, yeah. Hopefully it's... Oh, it was not worth the heal at all. 
This is why I don't like this map at all. It just, everything just falls straight down the hole. Um, you know what? This does have some pretty big synergy with what I'm going with anyway, so I'll go with that. Or what I have already. It's gonna make my bombs do 20 damage, but that's okay. I'll duplicate all my orbs, sure. It will add the extreme negative that I might not ever be able to heal. Oh, I should have healed there. No. Ooh, yikes. I might not ever be able to heal now because just random, like, placements, but hopefully this is good enough. Oh, no, it didn't hit the crit. This could be really bad. I need to be very cautious here. Please hit the refresh. It did. Nice. I really hope there's a good crit here so I can heal. I'm going to take 15 from this, so I need to be cautious on that one. Uh, I might be able to hit the crit on top of just... I think the numbers are high enough. I'll heal more. I wasn't able to hit the crit, but I was able to do most of my heal health back. Please hit the crit. Please hit the crit. Please hit... You didn't hit the crit. You disappoint me every time. Yeah, it's at this point... It's at these points where I'm like, well, it's kind of... It's kind of sketchy now. I was worried about the these, like, last floors... The last floors are definitely going to be the hard ones. I wonder what this elite fight's going to be. It could be pretty bad. I don't know what I don't know what the invisible one is. But I've ne I don't actually know what enemies are on the invisible one. I just know that there's a lot. Hopefully this just like numbers everything up so that I can just and hit a crit early on. Seems like there's a lot of enemies here. Uh, please hit plenty of healing. Please and thank you. Hit a crit. Hit a hit a crit. Hit a crit. Hit a crit. No. Oh, okay. This is a crit though, and it will do plenty of damage. Full heal, plenty of damage, and hopefully hit a few bombs along the way. There we go. You know what would be idea insane here? If I got the explosive gunpowder, I've never had all three of these relics at the same time, where it just refreshes and then blows everything up. I There could be so many bombs. Did I kill the front? I did kill the middle, t the front two, I think, actually. There's... Oh, this is kind of cool. I can finally see the shape of all these pegs just because I have all the numbers now. That's awesome. I did. <laughs> this is not what I expected this map to look like, but it does make sense. As to why everything just kind of gets stuck in the middle now. It's a pretty good map, honestly. A couple lines rotating. Mostly killed. I don't know if that actually killed that. Oh, it did. Nice. The elite floor is done then. I'll take I'll take the extra Nosfor bot too, and the overwhammer could be cool. There's so many bombs now. No, don't don't put me in the fire. No, stop putting me in the fire. I just want to go down. And one last fight to go. I think if I just hit a few bombs, maybe a crit. Because of the overwhammer, I think this should be pretty fine. Yeah, that was a pretty fine shot. Ah, uh, yikes. That was... I, I shouldn't have thrown my Nostor Batu. Should not have done that. It should be fine, though. This, I think, will kill two? If it hits enough bombs, it'll kill all three. The Inferno Orbs hitting every all the bombs in one hit is quite nice. 
I will say that. We are heading down into the pit. And there we go. I will do my last Inferno Orb. I don't... I think the Nosferbatus currently are just used for healing, so I, I, I'd rather just get more damage on the Inferno Orbs. They're less situational. I am going in with 70 health, which is kind of sketchy, but I think that's fine. I hope. Got Nosferbatu coming up soon, so I feel comfortable with throwing this. I really just need it to hit a crit right now. If it does, it would be insane. No, it just skipped over them all. It skipped over all my crits. Why'd it do that? Hmm, I will, I, I'm going to play a bit risky and just go for one more Inferno Orb before, one more set of Inferno Orbs before I go for the Nosferbatu. I would love to get a good crit location here, but it's kind of not looking like I will. Hmm, I need a good crit location if, that's decent, I guess. Is it good enough, though? I don't know. Well, I think it was. I think it was good enough. It did get the refresh off, which is more important than anything. Uh, right, so I'm building up, like, a couple of these, like, boxes pretty strong. That's like a plus two damage entire box over there. And I will shoot into it now. Ooh, hopefully this hits a crit. It did not. I'm finding the crits really hard to hit right now. I'm just getting crapped in the wrong boxes. Uh, did hit that one, but it was a bad shot. I can probably afford one more. Oh, these... This is kind of like a blind build, a blind bomb build, I just realized, because I'm throwing so many bombs, and they each add one, that these things are starting to not be able to hit me that much. I will heal now. I'm getting kind of low. This should be a full heal, right? Yeah. You're getting really strong, though. This is worrisome, how long... Because it's taking so long to kill. I'm I, on all my good Inferno Orb shots. I'm not hitting any crits. Oh, there we go. Finally, I, I, as soon as I say it, I think this kills one, maybe two, probably only one though. They are. Oh wow, they're hitting really hard right now. That's this is very sketchy. They do have a 63% chance to miss right now, though. I'm just gonna skip. I need to heal, so... I'm gonna wait for the... This board to come around, sure. This is a full... It is a full heal, which is really good because I was really close to dying. Oh, the red palm could have killed me. I just realized. I think I should be fine now, though. They, they, there's like such a low chance of them hitting me. And they're all pretty low, generally low. The back one dies, which is good. These have almost an 80% chance to miss. I think, I, I didn't realize, but the smoke mod applying one, blind one on bombs probably saved this run. Very lucky I got that. And I think, what better way to finish one of these guys off than with bombs and a Nostorbatu? Last one can't hit me. It cannot hit me. It's an inept... It's, it's officially a done deal at this point, and it's hitting so many bombs. That is it, I believe. If you like the video, please consider liking and subscribing. My channel... I, I still can't believe uh, my channel went from where it was to where it is now in such little time. 
Uh, so if you wouldn't mind giving some support, that would be amazing. And if you're looking for the Discord, link is in the description. Love to see you there. I'm pretty active in there. Next time, I'll see if I can't get another cool challenge going.